What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Stoic Outdoors. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Joaquin, your host. And if you enjoy South Texas fishing and hunting videos, subscribe today guys. So it's really cold down here in South Texas and uh, I'm not going to be going out fishing anytime soon. So I wanted to do an off the water video. I wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys a few tips that I learned from other people, other anglers, other captains that do it. You know, they've been doing it for a long time. I just kind of pay attention and ask questions. And um, this is what I ended up learning. I'm, I'm going to be giving you guys three tips, okay? These tips are for South Texas or for anywhere for that matter. Anywhere you want to be throwing uh, artificial lures for saltwater, inshore, bay fishing. Um, these are the, the tips that I'm going to be giving you guys. Number one, become familiar with your lure, guys. Is it a jerk? Is it a paddle tail? Is it a curly tail? Or is it something else? Know what that lure is originally designed to do, and uh, you have better, uh, you have a better success rate. So these lures right here are curly tails. I'm going to be over overlaying some video. What that means is that the back of the lure, right here, these the tails they curl, right? That's what they're called, curly tails. So whenever you're working these bad boys, you can work them a different variety of ways. You can work them. Really a man, a steady retrieve. You can give him a couple of jerks, a couple of pauses. You can keep your rod tip up. You can keep your rod tip down. What I like to do is whenever the, it's shallow, I want to keep my rod tip up to keep it out of the grass and I want to give it a couple of pops, let it sit so the, so the curly tail will flutter going down. Pop it up, let it sit, let it flutter going all the way down. Or I've even done it where you're sight casting, you see some redfish, so you throw it right at him. You just do a straight retrieve and the redfish will bite. So curly tail, you gotta know what type of lure you have. Curly tail, right? These are jerk shads. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what goat are. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen a goat package like at Walmart or at a academy. So these are jerk shads. Now these are not intended to work the same way as a curly tail. So these, you wanna kinda give them a jerk. That's what they call a jerk shad. You wanna jerk, jerk, pause, let them sit, jerk, jerk, stop, pause, let them sit, keep a rod tip up or down, whichever one you want. And that's what they're intended to do. They're jerks. Another type of lure, a paddle tail. Paddle tails have this in the back end. These are originally designed for a straight retrieve. The paddle tail does all the action. You just throw it. The paddle tail will be going right through the water and uh, you can literally just throw, cast, and retrieve. So you got your paddle tails, you got your jerk shads, and then you got your curly tails right here, okay? Number two, you wanna match your lure for the water clarity, okay? Is it clear? Is it a deeper water? Is the water stained? Has it been raining? Is it windy? All that plays a factor in the color that you're gonna be throwing. Shallow water, clear water, I like throwing a more natural color. I like throwing more of a white, gold flakes. And uh, I've thrown it before where I throw like a brighter color or like a darker color in the red fish or trout. They don't seem as interested as they, uh, as they would if I'd be throwing more of a, of, a, of a natural color, okay? Number three, be consistent. Remember, not every time you go out there, you're not gonna be catching fish every time, you're not gonna be slaying them. Make sure you guys continue to cast, 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 cast until the fish end up hitting. Quick recap, guys. Number one, know what the lure is originally designed to do. Number two, make sure you guys throw the right color for the water clarity. Sunny, is it, is it, uh, has it been raining? Is the water dirty? Is the wa water murky? All that plays a factor into what color I like to throw, okay? Stay resilient, be stoic in your approach, and uh, you guys will be very, very successful, guys. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe today. It's free. It doesn't charge you guys anything. It just means that you guys have been enjoying the videos. Once I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a really, really big giveaway, so I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode of Stoic Outdoors, and I'll see you guys on the next one.